Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to uh, discuss SQL joins, one of my favorite topic. If you understand join, trust me, 50% of your SQL is sorted out. Okay. I think you would have seen many videos or understood, you would have understood it many times how join works. So I thought I will make it more interesting. So will it will give you more understanding in business terms. So I will create a business case and we will answer some of the questions using joins. So you watch till video till end. We will discuss four types of joins today. Inner join, left join, right join and full outer join. So let's start. So I have two tables here. One is orders table. Okay. So this table has, if you see 5009 records. So remember each order ID has one record in this table. There are no duplicates. There was a, another data set. I just removed duplicates from there. And in this, I have kept only unique records just to make things simple. So I have 5009 records basically. Okay. And I have some of these orders are returned also. So I have order IDs of those returned orders. So these are the order IDs of returned orders which are returned. Right. So just make the note of numbers. How many uh, orders are there? So total orders are 5009 okay out of this how many are returned so this is 296 because all the returned order will be part of orders table obviously something is ordered then only it, it can be returned so i will just add put this 296 okay this will be very useful and non returned will be Not in turn will be 5009 minus 296. So the, these orders were not returned. 4713. I will keep it on top. Okay. So we have this for reference. So we have total 5009 records. Out of this, 296 are returned and 4713 are not returned. Okay. So now let's say there is a store manager and you are working in as a as a data analyst in that store so store manager asks you tell me total revenue lost by returned orders so how many how much revenue we lost from the returned order so what i will do here we have all the return order information right but but the value of that order is in this table here sales from sales we will get the how much is returned right so what i have to do i have to join these two tables and get how many orders are returned and what is the total sales so what i will do i will just join when we have to join data from two different tables we will use join so this is order unique so i will just alias it ou and then in a join returns I will alias it as are you on ou dot order underscore id equal to are you dot so I am joining these two tables on order id it is similar to VLOOKUP if you have done in excel so what will happen from this table you will get only the records which are there in return table based on order id in inner join you get only the records which are common in both the tables so how many records we should get it 296 returns were there right so if i run this we will get 296 orders okay so if i want how much the venue we lost so i will just do sum of sales sum of sales is coming from this table right so this much we lost because of returns so this is how inner join works so if if they want give me the lost sales by country wise so i will i can just put country also and group by country right so i will get okay i have only united states is it all the records uh, which were returned i it seems from united states let's check city city so we got city wise how much 
it was returned so this is the loss revenue city wise so just i want to make this point that when we do inner join we get only the records which are matching in both the tables so from this table there were 296 returned so we got 296 records i think fair enough let's move on to the left join so in left join what happens is we'll again do select star in left join all the records from left table will come irrespective of they are there in right table or not so when i write from this table left join this table so i say this is left table and this is right table right because this is in the left of the left join keyword and this is on the right of the left join keyword so this is right table and this is left table so what i'm trying to say is all the records from this table will come irrespective they are there in this table or not based on this key so when i run this you see we got 5009 records here right so we had total 5009 records and we got 5009 records full irrespective they were there in this or not now let me put some columns here so ou dot order id okay comma i'm taking order id from both the tables are you dot order id okay comma sales let's say i'm just i'm interested in these three columns okay i will run this if you see some of the order ids are null right so whatever orders which were not returned right for those there is no order id coming from this table the returns table for example this order id it was not in the returns table so when i do ru dot order id it is coming null so which means from the right from the left table everything will come and from the right table whatever this matching information will come and whatever those for which we don't have matching information null will come so you see null is coming but all the records are there 5009 records hope it is clear right so this is how left join works fair enough now your store manager is saying give me the sales of orders which are not returned right basically 4713 for this they want sales because five out of 5009 296 were returned only for not returned they want which means whatever records are not there in this we want only information of those records so what i can do after left join i did left join right i can say where are you dot order id is null because for all those records are dot order id will be null right so i will say is null so if i run this i get 4713 for c non returned right these are all non return uh, orders and for all these the order id coming from ru will be null and that is what filter i have put right so this is left join so you can get sales i can do sum of sales or whatever we want to do we can do sum of sales of non returned order whatever aggregation whatever you want to do you can do i hope left join is clear we will move on to right join so for right join what i am going to do is in this table i will add a dummy record this is my table i will just insert a dummy record so this values it has three columns let me put yes and dummy order id something dummy i am putting one i'll tell you why i am doing it so there is this order dummy which is not there see hypo, this is a hypothetical situation because there cannot be any order which is returned but it is not it was never ordered but just just to understand the right join i am making this okay so now what i am going to do i will do right join right i will move this and i will do select 
again i will take ou dot order id comma ru dot order id comma sales okay, so what i have done i am doing right join now so this is my right table right so what will happen it is just opposite of mirror image of left join everything will come from returns table and whatever is not matching null values will come from here and whatever is matching the data will come from this table so let me run this so if you see there were 297 uh, 297 record i added one more right dummy one plus one so total 297 records are there in this table so we got 297 right now for all the returned i will have the order id from orders table also only for one they won't be order id for the dummy one right so if we go down there's this dummy one see so this dummy one came sales is also null order id is also null because these two columns coming from left table and we don't have a matching record of this record in the left table so that's why it is coming null so right join is exact mirror image of left join you can always get rid of right join you can also always switch the tables you can switch it put it here put it here and use the left join it is same thing okay it is same thing so you can always get rid of right join always i prefer doing left join whatever tables you need in left use that and do the left join okay so this is done i will just reverse everything So this is how right join works now we come to the last join full outer join in full outer join everything will come so whatever is there in left table will come whatever is there in right table will come whatever common records are there for those the uh, information will coming from both the tables whatever unique are there in this for those null values will coming from here and whatever unique are here the null values will be coming from here so basically if we run this you see there are 5010 rows because there were 5009 rows right and additional one row we added so that also came so everything came 5010 so if you see order id is null for the non returned order and wherever order is returned we have order id coming from return also and we will have a dummy record also so we have everything now right in this case order id is null okay now how do we handle it let's say i want all the order ids in this case so i can use nvl function nvl so what i'll do i will create one more column as order id final i think nvl doesn't work here let me try nvl is not there i think so we have to use coalesce function in some of the uh, databases it doesn't nvl is not there so we will use the coalesce so coalesce is this what coalesce will do if this is null it will give this right this is how coalesce work if this is not null then it will return ou dot order id if coalesce is null it will return ru dot order id so if i run this i will get order id from everywhere see for this also i got here so this is how we can handle null values in full outer join or left join or whatever you want to handle so this is how full outer join works so just to repeat everything in inner join we will get all the matching records right matching records in left join all data from left table and matching columns data from right table 
right join is just mirror image of left join and in full auto join you will get everything in both the tables so common records plus unique records in individual tables i hope this is clear uh, i will create one more video on joins to 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 discuss some interview questions but make sure you understand all the joins do some practice and let me know if you have any doubts thanks for watching